Hello everyone, good morning. In this lecture, the aim is to go ahead and give you a list of 100 economic, uh, 100 important economists that you have to remember for your exam. Let us start. Please keep writing with me. Positive definition of economics. It was given by Leonin Robbins. Scarcity oriented definition of economics. It was given by, again, Leonin Robbins, father of economics. It was Adam Smith. Welfare definition of economics. It was given by Martian. Wealth of nations. It was given by Adam Smith. Invisible hand. It was given by Adam Smith. Absolute advantage. It was given by Adam Smith. Comparative advantage. It was given by David Ricardo. Austericity. Austerity. Right? Uh, this is a term that is used to describe efforts to reduce public spending G on GDP. Right? It was given by Keynes. Austrian model. The main economists are... Friedman, Hayek, and Ludwig. Life cycle hypothesis. It was given by Modiglani and Brumberg. Permanent income hypothesis. It was given by Milton Friedman. Absolute income hypothesis. It was given by Keynes. Relative income hypothesis. It was given by James Dusenberry. Author of employment multiplier was Keynes. ISLM model was given by John Hicks. General theory of employment, interest and money was given by Keynes. Ordinal approach of utility analysis was given by Hicks and Allen. Theory of utility was given by Stanley Janins. So Javins. Cardinal utility was given by Alfred Marshall. Theory of indifference curve was initially propounded by Francis Y. Edgeworth, but in many MCQs, you may not find Hedgeworth, Edgeworth, so you may have to mark Higgs. Consumer surplus was given by Jules Dupit, uh, but it was more popularized by Marshall. So in MCQs, you will find Marshall. Father of surplus value was Marx. Consumer surplus as vertical distance between indifference curves was given by Hicks. Dynamic theory of profit was given by J.B. Clark. Flexible accelerator theory of investment, also called capital stock model, adjustment model, was given by Chenery, Goodwin, Coyer, and Janankar. Social welfare function was given by Bergston and Samuelson. New welfare economics is given by Perito, Higgs, and Calder. Compensation principle is given by Calder, Higgs, and Skitowski. Father of welfare economics is ACP Go. 
opportunity cost theory is given by Professor Gottfried Haberer. Effective demand as a determinant of economic activity is given by J.T.R. Malthus. Who stated money is an asset, its demand is determined along with demand of other assets? Friedman. Inflation is unjust and deflation is impedient, impedient of two. Deflation is worse. Who stated this? J.M. Keynes. Quasi rent theory was given by Marshall. Classical theory of rent was given by Ricardo. Subsistence theory of wage was given by Adam Smith. Wage fund theory was given by John Stuart Mill. Growth definition was given by Paul Samuelson. Absistence theory of interest was given by J.S. Mill. Waiting theory of interest was given by Alfred Marshall. Time preference theory of interest was given by Fisher. Modern theory of interest was given by Hicks and Hansen. I'm scrolling slowly so that you can write it. Loanable fund theory of interest was given by Nut Wixel. Risk theory of profit was given by F. W. Holly. Marginal productivity theory of rent was given by Clark, Javen, Marshall, and Wixit. Marginal productivity theory of profit was given by Marshall. Wage cut policy was given by A.C. Pigot. Transfer earnings was suggested by Mrs. Joan Robinson. Theory of reciprocal demand was given by J.S. Mill. Law of variable proportion was given by Alfred Marshall. Kinked demand curve was given by Paul Sweezy. Opportunity cost theory of international trade was given by Harbour Ler. Modern theory of international trade was given by Hegger Olin. Multiplier was given by Richard F. Kahn. Investment multiplier was given by Keynes. Equalization of factor prices was given by Paul Samuelson. Acceleration principle was given by J.M. Clark. Super multiplier concept, which is multiplier plus accelerator, was given by J.R. Hicks. Unlimited supply of labor was given by Arthur Lewis. Critical minimum effort was given by Libinston. Low level equilibrium trap thesis was given by Nelson. Big push theory was given by Rossington Rodden. Law of diminishing marginal utility was given by first Gosain. It's called the Gosain's first law and then Marshall, which named it as law of marginal utility, diminishing marginal utility. Theory of balanced growth is under Rodan, Nuxe, Lewis, and Libingston. Theory of unbalanced growth is under Hirschman. Stages of growth theory is under M. Rostow. Capital accumulation model is given by Mrs. Joan Robinson. Social marginal productivity criteria is given by A. E. Kahan and Hollis B. Canary. Demographic dividend is given by David Bloom. Demographic transition is given by Thompson and Norton Steen and later by Cale and Hoover. 
stock theory of population is given by Hansen and Hirschman. Population cycle is given by C.P. Blacker. Standard of living effect is given by Professor Hagen. Rolling plan is given by Gunnar Midrill. This is important. Microfinance is given by Mohammed Yunus. Purchasing power parity theory is given by Gustav Kassel. Classical theory of population is given by Thomas Robert Malthus or simply Malthus. Full cost or average cost pricing theory is given by R. L. Hall. Sales revenue maximization principle is given by Bowman. Managerial theory is given by Williamson. Theory of limit pricing is given by J. S. Bain, Modiglani, Jagdish Bhagwati, and Silos. Say's law of market is given by J. B. Say. Psychological law of consumption is given by J. M. Keynes. Risk aversion theory of liquidity preferences is given by James Tobin. Quantity theory of money is given by Friedman. Cash transaction approach is given by Fisher. Cash balance approach is given by Marshall. Real balance effect is given by Patinkin. These four can come and match the following. Absorption approach is given by Alexander. Indifference curve is given by J.R. Hicks. This is Sydney, huh? Sydney Alexander. Social dualism is given by J.H. Boke. Technological dualism is given by Higgins. Financial dualism is given by Mint, M Y. I N T. Let's look at some of the important indicators. Measure of economic welfare is given by William and uh, Nordwas and James Dobbin. New economic welfare is given by Paul Samuelson. Basic need approach is given by ILO. PQLI, Physical Quality of Life Index, is given by, this is important, Morris D. Morris. HDI is given by Mohamud ul Haq. And finally, Social Progress Index, which is SPI, is given by Amartya Sen and Douglas North. So this is the complete 100 economics series. Thank you.